A summer vacation, a family camping trip. The sounds of children laughing, the smell of breakfast on the grill, making life moments. The Robinson family had no idea this would be the last vacation they would ever spend all together. I was at my friend's house. My son called me up. Mom, something's going on at Didi's house. Didi is Deborah's oldest daughter. Xavier is Didi's son. He says, Mom, there's, I hear there's blood everywhere. A horrific discovery around 8.30 the night of February 27, 2003, as Deborah's other daughter, Jennifer, walks into Didi's house. There's no sign of Didi or Xavier. Jennifer steps into the basement where she finds her sister on the ground, beaten to death. And it just seemed like our world just crashed in, you know, like, and it was unbelievable, like, this can't be happening. But one question haunts the family. Where is Xavier? Did someone kidnap the four-year-old? Hours go by, then police give Deborah the answer she feared. And once they got the whole family together, that's when they told us he's expired. Xavier's body is found in the bathroom. Police have never released the four-year-old's cause of death. He was a little angel. Now he's a real angel. It's hard to lose a child and a grandchild. And one night, it, they were gone. They were stolen from me. And I know they'll never come back. Dee Dee and her four-year-old son, Xavier, were both found brutally murdered across the river in their Windsor home nearly a decade ago. We're going to solve this one. You may think that statement is arrogant, but Detective Frank Providenti's confidence can be supported by numbers. Since the Windsor Police started a major crimes unit, every current homicide has been solved. Now, they're focusing on cold cases. This stuff doesn't go away. We never close cases. Just weeks ago, major crimes solved the 12-year-old cold case, and now all of their attention is on bringing justice to Dee Dee and Xavier. Killing a 29-year-old woman is bad enough, but a four-year-old child, they didn't do anybody any harm. Police say the people who may hold the key to solving this murder mystery are now living right here in Metro Detroit. The person that killed Dee Dee and Xavier has spoken to somebody about this, and they need to come to us and, and help us. This is James Thomas. Police say Thomas, who lives here in Metro Detroit, was dating Dee Dee at the time of her death. The defenders are told Thomas was cooperative nine years ago, but they want to talk to him again. Um, there's a few questions I'd like to clear up um, regarding his, his whereabouts uh, during that time. Thomas is not alone. Police say there are other Metro Detroiters who are people of interest. Detectives want to speak with them. They want to confirm the last time Dee Dee was seen alive. And I know, I know someone knows uh, information on this. They also want to speak with other Metro Detroit men because of what they found in Dee Dee's own handwriting. Dee Dee had a journal, and she kept a lot of information in her journal. And we're getting a lot of information to go on from her journal. I miss it so much. For the Robinson family, an arrest will bring closure, but they know it will never bring Dee Dee and Xavier back. That child will never see school again, never see a play yard, never see his favorite toy. There will never be another family vacation, never be another chance for everyone to make life moments. All that's left now is a box full of memories and a videotape. Family and police believe this was not a random attack. They say Dee Dee knew her killer. They also believe Xavier was killed because he could identify the murderer. Mark Santia, Defenders.